Anybody not see a chick yet? You got him? Catching right now in, in the scope. Yeah, that's the second one. It already has another chick. So, so now we know how old that chick is. Day one, right? So it's got another chick in there. We know how old that chick is. It's two days old, right? Or day zero and day one. So that's a good data point if you're following the crew, right? So like when you're studying, you would have gone in already and spray painted maybe a, a red nest, a white nest, a blue nest, or whatever. You know. Okay, blue nest, hatch, this, that, and that. And you can tag the animals too. Yeah, we used to tag them first. come back when they're three and four years old to try to breed so they're gone. Hey guys, 
guys, we've got a humpback on the outside of the, of the bay, outside of the spit. He's actually swimming uh, right to left towards the landing site on the outside. Um, when they leave the colony to go feed, it's by virtue of timing of when they leave. So it's whoever's around with them, and they'll just take off. Gentoos are a little more solitary, like they can leave by themselves. In Delhi, yeah, the penguin is not without its own defenses. An interesting thing is happening now. The wind is coming up a little bit, right? So the skua is now much more maneuverable with a little bit of wind, and it can just hover right above the unsuspecting penguin and blam, it'll go in for an egg or chicken. So on the periphery of the colony, you've got young penguins, relatively young, four to five years old, maybe their first year breeding, maybe their mate doesn't come back to do the transfer of the egg. And it'll dive in there and look for, there it goes. It's going in right now for an egg. Check the school right here. It's really pecking at the adult to try to get it to turn around. But if it's a young penguin on the periphery or in the middle there that doesn't really know what it's doing, it sometimes will just take off and bolt. Look at that, that is really accurate. I'm trying to get a bite. No, you can't tell. Yeah. So it's kind of a weird situation. You're colonial in the sense that you're grouping together, but you can't really help your neighbor because if you do, then you're vulnerable. If there's an adult standing there that's not on an egg, it will be like that. That'll chase the bird away, but you can't spend your whole day chasing the predator away. You gotta take care of your own. Look at that. Eh? That's awesome. But that skua has decided that that penguin isn't paying attention very well. So it's definitely focusing on a couple of birds there. Here's another track. Right now is the time when the skua have their two chicks to hatch. The skuas wait until all the penguins lay their eggs. Then they start eating all the eggs of the penguins. And then they have their chicks to feed. So it's predator prey. You know, everybody, oh my gosh. If you see that thing grab a penguin egg, you feel sorry for it. If you see that you will grab a penguin chick, everybody starts to cry. But if you see the skuas with their little chicks, you're like, oh, you're so fluffy. Yeah? <laughs> so we love the predators, but we sometimes don't like to see them. <laughs> That's part of it. chicks okay so those 2,000 chicks for that year three years later only about 60 to 70 percent of those survive to come back here and then each year you have attrition you lose a few more a few more a few more so by breeding age of five years old of those 2,000 chicks you maybe have 500 of them that try to breed well you can't get thousands more in here right because it's covered with snow and wet and everything but your adults are dying out for 10, 12 years, 13 years. A gentoo lives to be about 15 in the wild if it's lucky. And so with all the losses, 
there aren't these masses of numbers of penguins out there waiting to breed. It kind of balances out at about 10 years. So you can see if you have a few years of the population where the chicks don't survive, if you have chicks don't, don't survive, say one year, two years, the population can recover. But three, four, five years, you can lose the colony quite quickly. But it's about one penguin chick per nest at the end of the season. So that's a lot of egg losses, chick losses, abandonment by the adults, and uh, chicks that die just on their own by exposure and predation. Just one that just stole a rock. Yeah. 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 The delis are declining. Which one is the one that's going to Oh, it was way up on the edge. Yeah. 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 The other one was picking at it. Yeah. 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 here on, on when the penguins die. We don't see that many carcasses here, right? But you got to remember about 90% of the time a penguin is in the open ocean. So most of them that say bring a leg or get eaten by a leopard seal or die from the day, you know, you break a leg, you can't hobble around and chase them to this way and get a mate. So you're
Yeah. And we can take the seal. Yeah. The seal. We didn't change the seal. We can take the seal. They will take the eggs too, but it's easier to grab the chick because the egg is round and it can your beast. It was quick. It was really easy. Drainage. Right. That's so that the water and the snow drains out. 
drains down and it's not like a puddle that the egg will sit in. Yeah, so. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, so they have a nice brood patch. But so the, they have rocks that, that they can nest on. The ones that put them on their feet, that the emperors, they have just ice. Ice, yeah. Right. So they have, they have to have some. Whereas these guys will build nests where the first exposed rocks are. So earlier this spring, the snow line might have been higher up. And the, where the nests are right now would be the area where the, the, the first exposed. And, and that's what happens every year. So that's why these spots are more pink. Right. And if you look over there, see how there are more pink spots? And they seem to be the little peaks. Those are the areas that melt first. And okay. year after year after year after year, they melt first. So that's where the, that's where the birds go. Okay. Yeah.
There are definitely three or four humpbacks around the area. Now it's a little bit of a chuck, so it's a bit harder to see them. And the blow also gets kind of blown away very quickly, not like last night, you can kind of see it hanging in the air. But there are, there are a couple of them around. You gotta move to the side so I can get it.
<laughs> Man. I think I got him. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> it's on video, though. Yeah. I think I got it on video, yeah. My cursing on video. We just don't talk Yeah. Mm. 